Hello friends, in this video, we will solve the problem related to the boats and streams. Let us consider the problem as, a man can row 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream in 13 hours, and the same man can row 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours. Okay, so then we have to find the speed of the man in still water and the speed of the current. Okay, so in the first case he travel, let us assume the upstream speed is x kilometer per hour. Upstream speed is equal x kilometers per hour. And the downstream speed as y kilometers per hour. Okay. So then upstream he travelled 40 kilometers. The distance he travelled upstream is 40 kilometers. And the downstream he travelled is 55 kilometers. Okay. So in both travels he finished in 13 hours. So, the time taken to the upstream 40 kilometers is distance by speed 40 by x and the time travel to the downstream 55 kilometers is 55 by y. So, the total time is given as 13 hours. So, that means 40 by x plus 55 by y equivalent to 30. Okay. So, in the second case, he traveled 30 kilometers upstream. So, 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream that is 44 kilometers downstream he travel so in 10 hours the total time he took to travel 30 kilometers upstream and downstream 44 kilometers is 10 so the time taken to travel 30 kilometers upstream is 30 by x okay 30 by x because upstream speed is x and the time taken to travel 44 kilometers downstream with speed y kilometers per hour is 44 by y. So the total time is 10 hours. So that means we have to add these two and that is equal to 10 hours. So that is 30 by x plus 44 by y is equal to 10. So if we, uh, if we solve these two equations, if we solve these two equations, uh, so, if we solve these two equations, they are going to be 40y plus 55x is equal 13xy. And the second equation is 30y plus 44x is equal to 10xy. So, by multiplying this equation by 3, multiplying this equation by 4, so then we, uh, after subtracting each other, we will get y is equal to 11. And after substituting this y value in any one of these two equations, we will get x is equal to 5. So that means y is equal to x kilometers per hour, x is 5 kilometers per hour, where x is the x is the upstream speed and y is the down speed time. So we have to find the speed of the man in still water. The speed of the man in still water is given by 1 by 2 of x plus y huh? okay so that is downstream speed plus upstream speed so that is going to be 1 by 2 of 11 minus 5 equal and 2 so it is going to be 8 so that is 4 kilometers per hour i mean 6 so that is 6 ki 3 kilometers per hour what is the 3 kilometers the speed of the man No, both are plus now, right? So 11 plus 5 is 6 and it is going to be 8 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the man in still water is given is given by 1 by 2 x plus y. So that value is going to be 8 kilometers per hour. So now we have to find the speed of the current. The speed of the current is given by 1 by 2 the speed of the water in downstream minus the speed of the water in upstream. So that is minus x. So, 1 by 2 minus y is 11 and x is 5. So, that is going to be 6. 6 by 2 is 3 kilometers per hour. So, the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour. So, I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.